We've got Eddie Barajas here. He's using the Bazaar's traction control system. How's that working for you? You know what? It's a more confident feeling. Uh, obviously, has helped me out in wonders. Dropped my lap times tremendously. Um, it just instills a full confidence and be able to get on a throttle a lot earlier than before. You know, you hear it backing you up out of every turn, and it's just, uh, again, you could just whack the throttle pretty much wide open, and it just, it's again, a tremendous amount of uh, times that it's dropped for me as, as I go out through the season, as we're developing it more, and, and it's, just, it's just amazing. You can adjust it per gear, per corner, per RPM. It's, it's, it's amazing, the whole, the whole package, you know? Now, in a previous conversation, we talked a little earlier, you said it saved you in one moment today. Yes, it did, actually. It stepped out of me pretty bad in turn two right now. I got a little antsy on it, and, and there it was again, just backing me up uh, one more time, just when I needed it. <laughs> it actually, All right. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You're riding a bike with the Bazaar's traction control system. How does that do for you? Well, um, a couple weeks ago we had a, a press release with um, Amar's company, Bazaar's Performance Design. And, um, I came in to this season, you know, as a maybe a top 10 if I was lucky. Uh, the traction control has worked so well um, that uh, we've been leading uh, races, we've gotten wins, and uh, we're leading three separate championships now and uh, second in another. So, and I think a lot of it's due because this thing gives you real confidence in the, in the corners coming out. Um, it's, it's a must have. It really is a must have for next year when they do come out to the regular people. It's going to be an awesome addition to a bike. Now, you have a lot of time here at Button Willow, so you know which corners it really works the best for. Right. Um, best, best is coming out of turn two because that's one of the turns that falls away, so the thing tends to hook up and then slide and then hook up and slide. And this thing is you can kind of stay leaned over rather than trying to pick your bike straight up and try to gun it as fast as you can. Um, you stay leaned in the turn, smooth, and you can hear the traction control coming on. It sounds like a couple of cylinders are going dead, and uh, it just tracks really, really smoothly. It's awesome. Well, good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks so much. Something's gonna change The way we act is driving me insane Says the sex of hatred Meaningless fights Attacking one another My name is Joel Romero uh, Last name is R-O-M-E-R-O -E I work for Bazaz, Amar Bazaz, which is the uh, owner of Bazaz Performance Design I pretty much just, I'm involved with the, you know, R&D, pretty much anything that has to do around the shop is what I'm involved with. And I also work for some of the guys out here during, uh, well, for the wearer guys, which is Alex and Eddie, they both come out here, so I do a lot of stuff for them. We're actually running our Bazaz ZFI TC on the, both of the bikes, which I've been pretty much testing right now, which is, we've been really success, successful with it, which has been really great. Uh, we used to cater all pretty much to AMA guys, what we did back in the past, and Amar's pretty much just trying to focus on your average street guy to where anyone can afford it. We're taking, you know, $5,000 system, turning it down to something where it's only $1,000, and your average guy that has a bike with a laptop can pretty much run the systems, what we're doing now. Now, all these bikes that with bike911.com here, they're running your prototype. You've prototype. been really perfecting it with these guys. Yeah. So right now, like I said, we're running prototype versions, which is slightly bigger than what we're running. We're going to run in production, but uh, it's going to have the same features. We have our... We used to have a standalone quick shift system that we pretty much integrated into it. So now it's three units put into one box, which is a fuel controller, quick shift system, and traction control. So you get three units all in one. Now, are there a lot of sensors that come with this traction control, or does it pretty much run off of what the engine is telling the ECU? Well, what we do is pretty much read three basic sensors that are on the bike, which is going to be a throttle position, RPM, and gear position. Uh, each one of those sensors plays its part just because we can't, we're not adding any wheel sensor or any of that type of stuff, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so tell us what bikes your systems are on right now. We're focusing on the four main manufacturers, which is going to be Suzuki, Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Honda. And of course, your popular sports bikes like your 600s, 750s, and 1000s. Uh, pretty much what it is, too. 
We have the bikes to where we have the harnesses bike specific. They're plug and play. So all you pretty much have to do is unplug each one of the sensors and plug our connectors right back into it. They all go in line. It's a piggyback system. So it's easy to plug, it's easy to connect. It just, if you can do minor work on your bike, you pretty much plug the system in.